All right, so today I'm doing another ultrasound on the goats. <laughs> When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job So today we are unloading this big trailer right here that has 105 bales on it i did go pick up my 50 bales they are over at my parents right now they're still on the trailer i think they might stay there because we're hoping that we'll sell before we have to unload everything so they might as well just stay on the trailer but we'll see i'm not keeping my hopes up so whatever but we gotta get that done. I've already, st well, we've already started over here, stacking it up, we got the round bales out. But I got to ultrasound the goats to make sure that nobody else is pregnant because as you've seen in one of my last videos, I got my new ultrasound machine and I checked it on Ebony and it looked like she was pregnant, but it was early. So I'm gonna do it again, and I think I'm gonna do it on another goat that I'm suspecting that might be pregnant as well. I realized that Miss Poppy here hasn't cycled in her heat, and I realized that it's around the same time as Ebony's, so I'm thinking that she may have gotten bred as well. So we're gonna try it out. There's a baby. Nah, the baby, nah. No baby, nah. Yeah, there is babies in there. You see one, two, and three pockets. Little buddy. 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 Little have done another area of electric fence so they're going to get all around in here I'll take the drone up and show you what I'm talking about so they got a ton of space here as you can see so it just goes along the tree line here and then it goes just across to the fence on the end and then it connects up to the old fencing I had in the back so hopefully they will eat all this down and it will get nice and cleared can you bring him here for me come on good job Okay, so Jersey here, he has outgrown his buck apron. It is, okay, go ahead. 
It is disgusting and well used and it's a little small for him now. He can't fit around his waist. So we're gonna be making a new one. So first of all, you're gonna need a waterproof canvas material. Some webbing, which I have a massive thing of. You'll also need some Velcro and buckles, as well as weighted beads. So I used one of my other Buckling's aprons as a template. And I made it a little bit bigger so I can sew it in. And you want to cut out two of them. Put them both together. Then you want to sew them together. I sew about half an inch before the end. I'm always making sure that they're sewn together. I also sew another part on it just in case to make sure that it's well secured. Now that it's sewn together, I'm going to turn it inside out. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. So now it looks like it has good seams. Now I'll take the webbing out. I'm using the buck apron again as a template to see how long I should go with the webbing. I am gonna make it a little bit longer, just in case so he has more room to grow. Then I'll use this buckle and I will sew one side to it. Now I'll grab the weighted beads and I'll put some inside the buck apron. I just used the weight of the other buck apron to figure out how much beads I should put in it. Then I folded over the sides and I sewed it together. Then I added on the webbing and I sewed that on as well. And I'm definitely not the best at sewing. I added little boxes onto the side to make sure that it was more secured. Now with the Velcro, you got to make sure it's on one side.
and don't use Velcro that has a sticky side to it because it gummed up my machine so bad and I ended up hand sewing it. And there we go. Now it's all done. Now time to try it. Oh, All right, here's his old one once again. Gross and new one. Woo! Let's try it, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. What do you think, buddy? Looks good. Oh, really? You want your milk, don't you? Oh, you happy? Oh, you're my sweet boy. Look at the little fro you're getting. You're getting a fro. <laughs> but it looks like it fits him well. Right below the knees like you want. Looks good. I knew for the moment that you were born that you were going to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Your little beard. You're getting a beard. You're gonna be a boy. Thanks for watching the video. And once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.